Digitalizacija v avtomobilskem svetu ni nič novega, s prihajajočo avtonomno vožno in novimi načini mobilnosti pa bo ta imela še pomembnejšo vlogo. Zelo sem vesel, da imamo v naši oddaji Mi Lindstrem, ki je specialistka prav za digitalne vsebine oziroma digitalne projekte. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Can I ask you for a quick recap of what you were presenting here today? I think uh, in the context of digital transformation, I brought in what Volvo Cars is doing to uh, meet everything that is happening in our world right now. So it's global trends, it's transformation, it's disruption, and a little bit bringing to life all the bits and pieces that we are working on that think that will head for you know, being something very uh, good for our future. So bringing those pieces together in a, in a kind of storytelling way, because I think that's when you go to an experience constant, co concept uh, like this, you need also to get a little bit of emotions around the brand. Uh, do people get not just excited, but on the other hand scared when you talk about uh, digitalization, about autonomous driving, about letting the car do the self by its own? Uh, I think it depends on how you present it. If you present it from a human perspective, uh, our cars of today are really taking actually those steps because what I also brought was showing that we are doing a lot of other things than driving. We are texting, we are talking, you know, with uh, uh, somebody on video or whatever in the car and our cars is there to support. But of course, if you drag that out to really when a car should take a decision that is a today a human decision, then it's, it's, it's of course more difficult. But I think uh, the way we approach this is that the car should add value to, you know, when you are driving in the driving situation. Mm. As we talk about Volvo, we always think uh, about security, about mm. how safe we are in the car. Yeah. Um, how can you implement that in, in the digital age when everybody is so connected to the cell phone that, God forbid, we, we miss a text message, we, we miss an email, uh, while driving for two hours in a traffic jam? Yeah, and, and I think uh, we are doing what we can uh, to, to have the car helping out, to have the car uh, vigil all the time uh, and, uh, and of course have a good interaction between the humans. Uh, um, but, but I, you know, people are doing that and, and uh, the legislation is uh, as we happen in each probably country, state, whatever, is doing job on that because the people's behavior are a bit dangerous in the cars. How can we attract people to, to trust into the new components in the car? Uh, we can talk as far as being able to just let the car drive by itself. Yeah. Um, what's, what I, what's the marketing issue from that point of view? I think the, uh, what could be challenging is that we need to put uh, people in our products and they need to uh, train on them because if you're not familiar with one of those city safety systems for example or, uh, and uh, pilot assist systems uh, you need to understand and you need to train on them so it's a little bit like almost uh, getting to understand a new language it's uh, experience uh, and maybe some guiding also so it's nothing you can uh, experience by a, a commercial or by just looking at the car you really need to to go into uh, several steps. And, and if I understand correctly, that's exactly what you did. You provided yeah. cars to the families. Yeah, uh, you talk about the Drive Me project now. Yeah, so uh, in, in our path to the uh, going towards uh, autonomous car, uh, cars, we have uh, one of our pilots is, is the Drive Me families. Um, so uh, we want to have real life experience also from our products and then we get insights uh, from those families. So it's a fairly uh, new project and uh, I'm looking forward to get the insights uh, from this project as, as we speak. How and that will probably also form our products, of course. Can you talk about the results? No, I can't do that uh, yet. So we're looking forward to it. How much information do you need um, in this transformation from, from the people? so the machines can learn, so you as a company can learn what we do, how we drive. It's probably a, a whole base of interaction between man and machine. Of course, field search will be super important and uh, I trust on our 
co my colleagues, which are uh, super, you know, focused on that, and, and that's their daily daily work. Mm. With the um, ever-changing mobility, do you think uh, about car sharing and other options as well? Yeah, of course. Uh, our cars are. Uh, uh, they're not used, you know, all cars are not used as much as they could be. So the potential for having more usage on, on each car, we, which will solve a little bit of also about the, uh, you know, crowded streets and, and everything. Uh, so that is something we are really looking into because we think that sharing is, is some part of it or the usage, you know, to, to level on, on the usage of each car. And in future, not just sharing, uh, we'll probably never go to, to the car sales point, we'll just be ordering our car online. Right? Yeah, I think that is a fascinating thing, that is very close to my area now. We can see that, you know, during, um, uh, when you are searching for information for a car, you do that a lot online. Uh, but in some bits and pieces, you also need to experience the car. Of course, we will, we will test different uh, things here. We can bring maybe the car to you, or we can have cars where the people are. So we have to, we have to work with all these possibilities where we really could cater for something uh, uh, that is uh, a great experience and add uh, quality to our potential drivers. Mm. Nice to have you here in Ljubljana. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.